Hi, Pete Morin of Shooting Sports here at the British Shooting Show. There's always a great show. We're at the Highland Outdoor Stand, they've always got new kits. Buttload of it. I'm a big fan of the Lithgow 22 Rimfire, which we tested the mag last year. I've got a new one to test for next month, but this is really exciting to me. I heard about this as a like a PR little exercise about a year ago, and it's the new Lithgow Centrefire. I've got Ken Jarmus from Highland who's gonna run us through this, what I think is a cracking looking rifle. Have you Ken, please? Okay. Um latest offering from, from Lithgow over in Australia, it's 100% made in Oz. Um, this is the, the latest center fire. This particular model is in 308. It's the only one in the country. It was sent over here especially for us to, to demonstrate at the British Shooting Show. There's going to be three stock uh, configurations on it. One is the Warner, as you can see here. There's going to be a laminate and then there's also going to be a synthetic for obviously uh, more suitable for field use. The best example I can give you the synthetic design is, as you can see here, on the on the rim fires, which are available in 17HMR22 and 22WMR. Okay, but obviously scaled proportionate to fit this barrel. It's made out of stainless steel, and it's also finished. I've got the additional coating of Cerakote, which they call this this particular uh, finish as titanium. The concept behind it is to make it impervious to all weather conditions, plus or 50. Uh, my, uh, you know degrees. Yeah. And coats are great yeah. It's, it's it's basically it's durability. It's a very tough coating as you know it's very popular today, but it's meant for all weather conditions. Lithgo uh, are pretty proud of their heritage, and, and when they produced this this particular gun, they wanted to make a high quality rifle, which would compete very well in the marketplace with higher end models like your, your TK T3 and your Seiko. Well, they don't have an offering like this. It comes uh, off the shelf, out of the box, fitted as you can see in here with a, a weaver rail, Picatinny rail, which is more commonly called. Initially three calibers, which is going to be 308, 243 and 223. Other calibers to come, and it'll be clear as to you know why, because of the way that the, the gun's actually constructed. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to release the bolt. The bolt release is quite a clever system. You have to push it in and move it forward slightly, there's probably about half a millimetre of movement in there but as you can see yeah. it's quite a substantial bolt. It's a serious piece of metal there isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's been described as very um, MO3-ish but of course it's a lift yeah. But there's a lot of metal in there and we're about to see some very sexy calibers coming yeah. in the future at some stage. It slips in very easily into the action when you move the action, this is a dry bulb, there's no lubrication in it, there's no galling in it. The metal to metal fit is superb and I think it clearly demonstrates it's a very high quality uh, rifle. I'm going to dry fire it, um, it's not going to do it any harm. With modern production guns these days, you know, it's, it's a safe option. The trigger comes set out of the factory at four pounds and is adjustable down to two and a half pounds, straight out of the box. Yes. Oh, excellent. This is um, actually set at three pounds. But it's a very sort of single stage trigger, but it's a very crisp and, and clean let off. Okay. In terms of the magazine, Lithgow didn't want to reinvent the, uh, the wheel, so what they produced is under license, I mean, that's their offering. But it's basically a Ticket 3 magazine, okay, because it's available worldwide, anywhere. And, you know, if you lose the original Lithgow, and you go to a gun shop in the middle of Africa and ask for a Lithgow, um, you know, centre fire magazine, they might say, pardon? If you ask for a T3 magazine, yeah, there'll be one available there, off the shelf, yeah, worldwide. Universal, cheap, yeah. uh, but very effective, and very reliable. The models coming into the UK will be screw cut, 14 by 1, and they'll carry an 11 degree match crown or target crown, as they're, they're affectionately called by, by some people. In terms of accuracy, we know that they're capable of, of half a minute or half an inch at 100 yards. Of course, that's dependent on the ammunition, the quality of the ammunition that's used, or the reload, if it comes down to that. But also the ability of the not behind the gun. Yeah, as always. And that basically <laughs> is, they'll, they'll be available in this country, uh, out, of the, uh, out of the box, by the end of April. Okay, and of course, there's proof has, uh, you know, process of proof has to go through, because Australian uh, proof isn't uh, acceptable here in the UK, so... British proof house around about May time off the shelf at your local gun shop. So what's the price point you expect to pay just ballpark figure? Price point, what I'll do is I'll give you a ballpark figure on the synthetic, it's going to be about $1,099. But that's recommended retail. Okay, that's not the shop. So in the shops, your friendly um, you know, your friendly gun shop's more than likely going to do you uh, a more yeah. but, you know, but you are RP, then you're going to have uh, 1048 
on the uh, on the walnut and about 1,058 for another tenner on the actual laminate. Yeah. That's a hell of a good rifle, mate. It really is. It's a lot of gun for the money. Yeah, it's going to compete right up there with the Kaseko. That's the way of going. Definitely. They're going to look out for that, aren't they? Absolute quality, straight out of the box. Ken, I really appreciate your time, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Look forward to getting one to test. Wonderful. Cheers, mate. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Cheers, guys.